Thank you for watching this video on investors in Zambia. Who they are, what they invest in, where they invest, and how you can meet or contact them. You're in good hands. My team has substantial multi-decade experience in working with African investors. I've run an African stock exchange and an investment bank focused on Africa, and my team runs AFSIC Investing in Africa, perhaps Africa's most important investment event. There's a lot of information in this video, but if you really want to get maximum benefit from our experience, whether you're an investor yourself or you want to apply for investment from an investor in Zambia, make sure you subscribe to our email list or contact us so that we can send you further details on the next steps. All the links required are below this video if you're watching this on YouTube or on our webpage if you're on one of our websites, dashboards or portals. Before we start, if you're looking to raise money from an investor in Zambia, I strongly recommend that you join our Africa business community today. It's absolutely free. Again, links are in the YouTube video description if you're watching on YouTube and they're on our webpage if you're watching on one of our websites. Once you've joined our Africa business community, we'll promote you and your investment opportunity in Zambia free of charge. Okay, so let's get going and talk about Zambian investors. Firstly, what type of investors are there that focus on investing into Zambia? Well, actually, there's not a simple answer as there are quite a number of ways in which you can segment Zambian investors. For instance, by the business sector in which they invest, or where they're based. Clearly, a number of Zambian investors are based in Zambia. But actually, a larger number of investors in Zambia are actually based globally. Perhaps in the United States, the UK, Europe, Asia, or even elsewhere in Africa. And as mentioned before, we've built up a really extensive list of these investors. So don't forget to join our Africa business community today. However, uh, we do need to start looking at investors in Zambia somewhere. So let's start by looking at investors who make investment decisions wholly to benefit themselves or the company that they work for. This is versus professional investors who are paid to invest on behalf of third parties. In other words, they're investors investing on behalf of other investors. People who invest for their own benefit are often called private investors. They could be successful businessmen or women based inside or outside Zambia, who invest directly into companies, shares or funds in Zambia, looking to make money specifically for themselves. The richest of these individuals may have set up their own investment operations, often called family offices. Or they could be companies looking to grow in Zambia. For instance, a large renewable energy company in France may look to buy or invest into renewable energy companies based in Zambia or elsewhere in Africa. The key here is that both the companies and the individuals in this case are looking for investments solely to benefit themselves. And there are literally hundreds of thousands of these investors who might be interested in looking into investing in any business project or concept in Zambia. Most will be companies or individuals based outside Zambia. So what are the different characteristics between corporates and private investors? Well, in general, corporate investors make larger investments than private investors. However, corporate investors are likely to be highly restricted to investing only into companies in the exact same or similar type of business. Private individual investors will, with only a small number of exceptions, invest smaller amounts than professional or corporate investors. But because they're investing on their own behalf, they've got much greater flexibility in what they can invest into when you compare them to professional investors who will have their hands tied as to what they can invest into. 
private individual investors who put money into very early stage projects in Zambia are known as angel or venture capital investors. While there are a large number of these types of investors, the difficulty is often finding out who they are and what they're looking for. They may be based outside of Zambia and have very little network within Zambia. And as a result, they never get shown investment opportunities that might be of interest to them. To facilitate the flow of information on business and investment opportunities to these types of investors, our team runs a Digital Africa Business Opportunities Dashboard, which is designed to bring all sorts of investment opportunities to the forefront of private investors' attention. So look for the links below the video on YouTube or on the web page if you're on one of our websites so that you can add yourself to our Africa business community today for free if you want your project to be discovered by this type of investor. Okay, so we've talked about the type of investors, including private investors, family offices and companies who are looking to invest into Zambia on their own behalf. The other type of investor is a professional investor. Professional investors get paid to invest other people's money. This type of investor is generally regulated in their home country by the National Financial Services Authority. And they're often referred to as an institutional investor or fund manager. Fund managers who are uh, investing into Zambia may be based in Zambia, elsewhere in Africa or outside of Africa. Each country in Africa has its own local institutional investors who generally prefer to invest into their own country, perhaps because they know the investment conditions best or exchange control regulations force them to invest internally. Some countries in Africa, such as Egypt, Morocco, Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa, have really well-developed local fund managers. For instance, in South Africa, Old Mutual, Sanlam, and Alan Gray are really well-known investment funds. So the Zambian uh, uh, institutional investment market is small, but it is growing. There are also a large number of institutional investors based outside of Africa, for instance, in the US, UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, and so on. And these can range in size from very small to those managing billions of US dollars of investment. This type of investor is most often severely restricted in what they can invest into, although a few, like hedge funds, may have an unrestricted ability to invest into what they fancy at any particular time. In general, however, there's no point asking a fund manager who specialises in investing into agriculture companies in Zambia to look at investing into a new and exciting Zambian mining company, as most likely, however much they may like the investment merits of the mining company, they may simply not be allowed to invest into it as a result of prohibitions included in their constitution or investment mandate. As a result, you need to understand the investment mandates or parameters of these investors before you approach them. A common restriction for investors in Zambia is based on sector. Some may be restricted to the tech or financial services sector. Others are restricted to investments that are impact focused or focused on the mining sector or other sectors. There are also further restrictions on the type of investments that a fund manager may make. Some are restricted to investing only in shares listed on the Lusaka Stock Exchange or other African stock exchanges. They're known as public equity or listed equity investors. Others are the opposite and can only invest into companies that are not listed on a stock exchange. These are known as private equity investors. Others provide debt finance and some specialise in trade finance. Knowing what each investor focuses on is important in learning which investor may be of greatest assistance to you in raising funding. As a reminder, we've developed one of the largest network of investors globally focused on Africa. 
And if you subscribe to our mailers, or if you become a member of our Africa business community today, then we'll keep you updated on the various options that we offer for you to connect with these investors. Joining is totally free, so why not do it while you're watching this video? So we've discussed the difference between private and company investors investing on their own behalf and institutional investors who manage money for a fee from other investors. We've also talked about the fact that some investors focus on specific business sectors and others can only invest in certain types of investment instruments. For example, listed shares. Now it's time to discuss how we can meet or connect with them. And that's another area where we can really assist you. We have a number of digital platforms that are free for you to use, where you can upload your investment idea or opportunity, and it can then be reviewed by our large network of businesses and investors and other parties interested in Africa. And as mentioned before, these are free to use. So first, we suggest you uh, follow the links as to how to join our Africa business community for free. Once a member, you'll be able to post your own business and investment opportunities on our Africa Business Opportunities dashboard. For those wanting to meet uh, Zambian investors at a physical event, uh, I highly recommend attending our AFSIC Investing in Africa event, which is perhaps Africa's most important investment event and a great place to connect with investors focused on Africa. So on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for having watched this video right to the end. Don't forget, your next step is to become a member of our Africa business community. It's free, so why not do that right now? Thank you.